All right, awesome. Um, cool. As for the internet, it's something that's happening on the street because there's people out in the street complaining. So it's the whole street, the internet. Yo, going. just for the uh, just for the record, yeah, uh, I can't add you. You don't accept friend requests. Just add me, and then I'll accept you. Cool. And we'll get this done. Cool. I'm gonna lose my masseuse, but it's fine. Nah, she won't leave you. If anything, she'll love you more for this because this this is the opportunity given, right? You brought her on the platform, and I gave her a hundred hundred thousand. You're right, but I don't have a clue how to add people as friends, bro. I'm I'm, I'm an old just, man. Uh, you see that big ass nose right there? That big ass nose picture? Just click that right there. Right click it. Go to yeah. profile, on, and then go to send friend request. The one that says train wreck. Right click on. Bro, I have a question. I have a question here. Right. Bro, <coughs> how 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 did you start and how did you make money? Yeah, how'd you, me. Yeah, oh. he's, he's fucking fit. Oh, okay. No, yeah, how, how'd you become the richest man on the planet? A trillionaire or some shit? A trillionaire. Yeah, how'd that happen? So I, I first, I was a kickboxer for a long time. I'm, I was fighting for money. Um, there's not that much money in kickboxing. And then my first serious entrepreneurial, I mean, I had, I, I ran lots of businesses, did this, did that. Some things like what? you can't. Everything, man. I, I had a normal job for a while when I was kickboxing and I did some different things and I did some things I shouldn't have done and blah, blah, blah. And was in, in jail for a little while and got out. And then I, uh, I opened up a webcam company. I had girls sitting on the internet talking to men. And I ended up scaling that up to having 75 women uh, working for me. That's how, I, that's how I first made millions of dollars. Fucking porn website, fire. Damn, what the fuck? You don't know this story? This is like the, my most known story online. You, you, never, know you, never, you never told it to me. It's a really long story and I've told it, I've, I've, I've told it very, very well on some other podcasts. But the short version of it was I got in some debt to some dangerous men and I needed money fast. And I was Yo, sitting in my uh, room trying chat. to work out a way to make money because at the time I was only fighting. And I didn't have a fight coming up for a while. And I was, I was researching how money works. Like I was trying to understand how money works, where it comes from. This is where I learned about the federal reserve and fractional reserve banking and all these things. So interesting point he made earlier about, you know, the matrix and its currency and how it's all a lie. I understand all that very well, but that really made me mad because now I understand money's bullshit and I still don't have any. And I was really upset. And, um, I was sitting there with a piece of paper trying to write down my assets and my liabilities and like, you know, trying to write down all the geek shit they tell you. And for assets, I wrote down that obviously, you know, I'm, I'm strong, but I'm already fighting. I'm brave, but I'm already fighting. I had all these girlfriends, but, but I thought, well, I don't, I can't afford to open a strip club. I'm not going to put them out on the track. I'm not that kind of guy. They're my girls. And then I discovered by oh. accident when I was clicking around on these, these, uh, websites, I saw those things in the corner, you know, talk to live girls now. And I thought, well, my girls could do that. And long story gross. short, long story short, I ended up with a, a, a 75 women and four premises and making 1.3, 1.4 million dollars a month. And that's how it all started. That was about 10 years ago. Wow. Holy that's shit. Story. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's a very, there's a lot, there's an in-depth version of it, but that's the story. And, and people listen to that and they seem to think that for some reason I was exploitative, but it's absolutely the opposite. It's, I'm a, I'm a feminist, bro. I empower women to make as much money as they want to make and I help them do it. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm here and. <laughs> As long as, it's, as long as it's for you. My niggas are right? fire it's for them. He was a pimp. It's nah. for them. So, so, so look, X, X, this is what I, I wanted to actually ask the question because I know it was a question that you had. Hold on. Um, Andrew, the, uh, one, of the, one of the takes that you made on my stream about um, that you should take 100% of, you know, your girls' only fans. I know, X, you, you, you felt the type of way about that. Um, Andrew, yeah. you got I mean, they, they, I mean, they said that you were joking 100% and you weren't joking. So I, I assumed that you were joking, but I still hold this thing that you weren't. Well, it depends, right? So if, if it's a girl who were to come to me and say, Andrew, I would like you to help me make money on OnlyFans. And they would come to me for my marketing expertise. And of course, it would be a fair deviation. I make 20%, 30%, whatever. That's different. But if it's my girlfriend, my long-term partner, and we're going to be together forever, and she decides to go down that particular career path, I think I should have a much larger stake because she is my girl, and she is now giving away some of the most private and intimate parts of her body to the internet. Those parts of her body belong to me effectively because she's my woman. That's the whole point of being with somebody. So to be, <laughs> pretend that she's going to do that and make a bunch of money and give me nothing, is I find that disrespectful. I would, I would sooner tell her, look, you're not doing OnlyFans, and she would There's obviously... So I called it then that you weren't you weren't actually joking. It was an actual true statement, right? Yeah. If, if I had a ser if I had a serious long term girlfriend and me and her are together and we're going to be together forever, and she says I'm desperate to do OnlyFans, I say you don't need to. We're rich. And she goes, No, I okay. really really want to. I say, Okay, the money's mine then. I would yeah, say we, we can we can disintegrate. We can dismantle these statements into one at a, like small rocks. We can approach them one at a time, right? Because there's sure. a lot of, that uh, respectfully. Okay, I think there's a lot of parts of that that are garbage, right? But we, I don't want to say something. At the whole rock, and we have to do a small rock pebble at a time, you know, right? 
So, uh, 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 also, this motherfucker can laugh over here. You see, you see it next to me? Uh, Los Palos. He's laughing, but he said you were trolling, so you were joking 100%. But like he's only a starman now. He's, he's, he, maybe he's oh, going to be... Right? That is but he said you were wrong 100% about this, and so it's wrong very, that you were joking. I don't know why he's only a stung right wait, now. Wait, what, what did I do? I'm it's a very, saying. It's a very, very particular scenario, right? You have to understand that the scenario in which I would take 100% is a very, very particular one. In general, when I had my, my business, and I know you're saying that they only made money for me. They made money for themselves. I turned girls. I, I would actually sit here and say, as the biggest misogynist on this panel, I've turned more girls into multimillionaires than any of you. I've made girls multimillionaires. This is 10 years ago at the beginning of all this shit, before OnlyFans when webcamming was new. I took girls from Starbucks and made them millions and millions and millions of dollars and paid them fairly, never missed a single paycheck. Okay. I'm as, I'm as feminist as you can get. Now, yeah, I got- well, like, I, like I said, I don't, I don't, okay. No disrespect once again. Okay, yeah. I just feel like this is like um, the type of argument that, that goes like, I have three friends that are black when making uh, certain comments or whatever. So I don't, unfortunately, don't, 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 get, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I don't this, get mad at, you. I'm mad at you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, respectfully, I think that is, that is genuinely the, the, the same vibe energy comment, right? Oh, I can't be against women because I helped four or five of them. Oh, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not against women because I made a couple of them millionaire or whatever the fuck, right? Saying, it's not about being against women. I'm saying that my, the whole was a net positive for both me and the female. So you misunderstood my point. You think I'm making a different point, and that's why you've come to that conclusion. The point I'm making is that everybody who worked for me won. The only person who lost was the guy sending his money away online. That's fine. But for everyone who was associated with me, both me, it wasn't exploitative because you made it sound like I only did it for me. No, the women who worked for me also made millions of dollars. Everybody who was associated yeah. with me won. Everyone won. All of them. Yeah, yeah, for business activities or whatever. Yeah, that that's fine. I don't think I, I wasn't talking about that at all. Um, all, all I meant was okay. Let fuck it. Let's just skip this this um, <coughs> tangent. Only fans. Wrong. Only fans. Just go. Let's just go back to the main argument you said. So you have I have more of a stake. So you think that in a relationship you have a certain you have a certain stake on your uh, partner's income based on what that income comes from. Well, it depends. Yeah. Depending on how they make it. Absolutely. I think that in a relationship with a woman, if the man is with that woman, the main reason he knows he's with her is the fact that she is sexually exclusive to him. If you're with a woman, she's fucking everyone. Are you even with her? No. How do you know she's even yours? Because she only sleeps with you, right? Well, if all of her intimate parts are now for everybody and they're purchasable, then I think you have a stake in said parts because those parts belong to you. She gives them to you when she decides so to be a woman. So, so there's a, there's a, a price that you're, 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 you're taxing your loss of privacy. To, that's a that's a way you could put it. I mean, personally, if my woman were to come to me and say she wanted to do OnlyFans, I'd just say no because I not. Okay, she wouldn't. okay, then. But example. Okay. Yeah, I mean, respectfully, let, let's have an, uh, let, let's try to upscale that that discussion and see what what kind of stake would you need for your girl to suck another guy's dick. I would never tolerate that on any level. So that's too far. But well, there, I mean, there's a price for the pictures and the loss of intimacy. Correct. There's that. It's I think for me, it's a black and white thing. Well, you, you, this is scalable. Once you lose a certain amount, you can lose more of it, right? I, I understand what you're saying, but to me, it's yeah. not black. Because pixelated pictures on the internet are very different than sucking an actual dick. So I would never let my girls be prostitutes. None of the girls who ever worked for me ever prostituted. I've never associated with a prostitute. I don't associate with porn stars, none of that kind of shit. But I had very wholesome girls with pictures of their titties on the internet 10 years ago who made themselves millionaires, yes. And now they are happily married okay. to somebody or whatever. Or some of them are still with me. It doesn't matter. But I never, I was never like getting girls to prostitute or hardcore pimping along that line. I don't even, I mean, I use the word pimp because I had a lot of women who worked for me and they were all beautiful and it sounds cool. But truthfully, I, I don't even really see myself in that regard. Cool. I think I'm less of a pimp than most corporations. Well, like I, the girls who work, the girls who work for me, 50%, you don't get 50% of the cash register when you work at they, McDonald's. Okay. They can also, people can be pimps and companies can be pimps to a certain level, right? Which doesn't, has anything to do with you being a certain level of a pimp. I think sure. I don't think if your girl is doing something, an activity of her own, of her own will, uh, I I don't I feel like taxing her is that's being a pimp, like yeah. quite literally. Like you're you are pimping at the wazoo. Yeah, you are pimping. I understand, <sighs> but and maybe you've never had the kind of relationships I've had with my women. But any woman I'm with it decides to, by her own free will, submit to me because she sees me as her intellectual superior. She sees me as her life superior. She looks up to me and she respects me, and she sees uh. me as her. She sees me as a uh, <laughs> And for that reason, if she were to come along and say, do OnlyFans, and I said, no, she wouldn't do it. But if she insisted on doing it, I would sit here and say, look, I'm unhappy with you doing this, making a bunch of money off of parts, which are supposed to be intimate only for me. If this is going to happen, I need to have some kind of 
compensation for my unhappiness. Yes. And she would understand and she would pay me, but this is not a scenario I need to be involved in. This is just a hypothetical, right? But all the girls who worked okay. for me, they were not romantically involved. They were girls who decided to make a bunch of money and they came to the best of the business, which was me. So you would be okay with then paying them for their discomfort in some in other areas then? That'd be something that, you, that you're open to. Uh, sure. I mean, it, it, that's, that's an interesting way to look at it. I mean, I think that all men do naturally anyway, right? Let's, 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 I understand your point you're making. So let's extrapolate on it. You're yeah. saying that if I, if I do something that they're unhappy with, I should give them money. Well, the yes. point is, oh, shit. I think that all high value men do that naturally anyway. If you take a oh, billionaire shit. on a boat. Naturally, naturally, it's kind of indirect oh, of a term. It's, it naturally is oh, more, shit. more indirect and more like, uh, like intended, oh, shit. right? Since for you, it's, it's, oh, it's transactional shit. and intentional. Then in this example, you have to use the same uh, framework for that example. Yeah. Same framework has to be agreed upon. So let's say um, I don't want to be too gross right now. You're, you're, you're with a girl and, and you want to do something. Do you okay with it with the thing of saying, okay, well, uh, okay, well I mean, I can't want to do that. I'll give, I'll give you, a, I'll, I'll give you 10K. I understand what you're saying. I don't think it works exactly that way, but I think that all men, especially high value men are already in a transactional relationship to some regard. And that's not a bad thing. That's natural human nature. And the point I'm trying to make is that if you're a truly <coughs> high status male, truly, if you're a billionaire with a yacht and you have 10 girls on that boat, yacht. the woman who's in love with you is going to let you fuck nine other women in front of her because she gets to be on a billionaire's yacht. She what gets to what? go to private islands. She gets to not have to work. She gets to run around on jet skis and take Instagram pictures. So to some degree, are you not paying her for her compliance to some degree? Are you not rewarding her for her being in a situation that she's not completely happy with that is natural human nature and all high status males okay, do it okay as, as much as I, uh, I would agree with you that would be a, that would be, that would be a part of something right part of some sort of fulfillment right um i, I would like my partner to be fulfilled crazy. in all the ways that i like to be fulfilled oh you gotta understand what point if a girl's only with me because she's fulfilled fuck, in this in this in this money way which is lacking on a bunch crazy. of other shit what's the point so let's 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 swip, let's swap the hypothetical. Let's say you're in love with a woman. She comes to you and she decides she wants to do OnlyFans. What do you say? Okay, so I've had a lot of things about OnlyFans before. A lot. I I personally just just because I think it's gonna it's just gonna kind of annoying. I w I wouldn't go into it knowing she, knowing she's doing it. So right? you would. So if your girl came to you and said, no, your girl's not already on OnlyFans. You're with a girl and she's seen OnlyFans online. She decides she wants to start. She comes to you and says, I want to become an OnlyFans chick. Oh, you're sure. going to say, yeah, go for it. Don't give me a penny. Go for it. Get rich. Show your titties. So that's, that's going to be your answer? Uh, no, I just say, I just, the, 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 I just, this is kind of annoying. It's an annoying <laughs> thing. I, I, don't, I don't fully agree with it, right? So it'd be kind of cold. It's, it's cold. I don't like it. Well, this is, this is the point. So I think it's, it's, you're, you're, and I understand this is really interesting what Train said earlier about internet language, because when you make a point, you have to be very, very careful with what you say. It's almost like politicians speak, but you're saying it's annoying. I wouldn't like it that well, I'd say you're not allowed. That's what I'd say. I'd say you're not allowed to be on OnlyFans if you're my girl. Okay. And if you okay. are here. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. That's not, yeah, yeah. The, That's the point I'm trying to make is that, is that you're not allowed. I don't like you're it. You're my and girl. You're not allowed. Yeah, I, guess, I guess I would this break up. This is what it is. But it's not, that's not like the, the, he can't say the main point. He's what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's just not allowed. It's generally lame. All right. So the point I'm making here is that it's a situation that most men don't want to find themselves in. They're completely in love with the chick and she decides to do OnlyFans. We're in a hypothetical situation. You, saying I'd break up with the chick is a boring answer. So assuming you have to stay with the chick, that's the parameters of the question to make the question interesting to answer. My answer is that I need to be paid for her to be doing OnlyFans. That's the answer in the hypothetical situation. Your answer in the hypothetical situation is it's kind okay. of annoying. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. There are, there are parameters to this. There's a bunch of parameters around that. It, 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 would, it, would, it would be like, uh, I hope she's not doing it because of lack of fulfillment in certain ways in our relationship, because that's a fucking problem. I, don't, I, don't, I, I, would, I wouldn't want my partner to, to go to places because she's craving a part of something she isn't getting in our relationship. As long as the thing takes away from a relationship, right? And the framework remains the same, then I guess it's kind of chilling. But that's kind of how it comes to OnlyFans because people do, people do it for a lot of reasons and a lot of, a lot of other ones. No, so my girl's it's, titties it's kinda, and let me, like, an asshole. Just do you mind me asking the question? How old are you? 26. Okay, let me blow your mind, young man. Women love, women love men they respect. And let me tell you this, and this is natural, this is evolutionary, it's 